Hi everybody, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time here. We are still working on Sanctuary Hills, so this is part two of Building Sanctuary Hills, and I am so excited to get back into it. Here's where we left off last time. We still only have six people, which is the five that we rescued from, I think, Quincy, and then one uh, regular settler who we assigned to be the medic so we can get that happiness rating up above 80. So remember last time we set up our entrance with just a little bit of defense. We have our guard barracks. We have our head guard slash off-duty guard house. Uh, coming up here, we have, I think this was the Long's house here on the left, which we've just kind of revitalized an old sanctuary house for. Um, here on the right, this is the general store. So they have a nice little living setup and then general store downstairs. Uh, and then here on the left, we have Mama Murphy's house, similar to the Long's, just, just kind of a redecorated sanctuary house. Um, and then we have the hospital house. Uh, and that was the general store. And I think that's as far as we made it last time. So we still have this makeshift farm set up that we need to clean up <laughs> and make better because I hate it like that. Uh, and then we have this house, which I've just been kind of using for storage. You can see all the junk I've collected for decorating lives inside this trunk, um, which reminds me we're going to go ahead and turn on God mode now because last time I forgot to do that and used up a bunch of junk to build things. <laughs> so that was kind of a mistake. Uh, but we have this house where everybody is kind of squatting at the moment, uh, but we're gonna clean that up. So that can be where we start today. Uh, and then this house here, this was the Soul Survivor's original house. So we will redo that as well. I have some ideas for both. Uh, this one, because this is the workshop and we can't move that, I think this might make sense to make this Sturgis house and have it be kind of like intentionally a workshop looking setup. And we'll get him a scavenging table to like have something to assign him to. Uh, just because, you know, Sturgis is, Sturgis is a handyman kind of guy. So I think that makes sense. So let's scrap some stuff. This is actually nice here. I might keep the diagnostic cart, but the shovel will take for use on the farm. Tool rack. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Uh, but we can add like a weapons rack maybe to kind of replace it with. Oh, yay. That cleaned up so much of that junk. I love when stuff does that. We can get rid of the tire wall and the tires because he won't be working on any uh, cars. Same with this floor jack. We can leave that, take the battery. We'll scrap this broken toilet. Again, I don't know why there are so many broken toilets just like on the porches of these houses. It doesn't make any sense to me. The bombs wouldn't have done that. I can't imagine that people would do that. I, I mean, maybe people would. <laughs> what do I know? We'll move the armor workbench up here. There we go. And anything back here? Yeah, we got picket fences. Oh, these are where the melons are. I want to do a big farm, kind of like properly planned with the fences, so I don't feel the need to maintain a yard for each person right now. Like Sturges isn't going to be doing farming, so that doesn't make sense for his backyard. I love the random uh, sanctuary animations where people hammer on the wall, though. Like, <laughs> what is he doing? I'm going to take that as a sign he's feeling better, though. So we'll take it. Ooh, this kitchen actually looks pretty well put together. Uh, not this, though. We'll get rid of that. We'll keep the coffee pot. We'll get rid of the trash can. I don't think there's a way for me to close the door of this. Oh, maybe there is. Like, does that look nice enough that we'd want to keep it? Maybe it does. I wish so badly that we could make new ones of these things just because I love the aesthetic of this, like, sto the retro futurism. Just really, oh. Now that we have enough beds, too, we can get rid of these temporary sleeping bags that I put down for everybody because I hate those. <laughs> what else can we uh, do in this kitchen to make this feel more intentional and not just like I'm leaving broken things. This could go. That could go there. Can I wiggle that in anymore? Just like a counter space. Yeah, I actually, I think I really like keeping that. I don't mind that. We'll just 
make it a little better with some other cabinetry. Mm. Will that fit? No. Will that fit? No. This may be um, harder than I thought. This will be a good corner unit. I don't really think of Sturges as that big of a cook. I don't know if we really know anything about Sturges besides, uh, and spoiler warning for this game, but I kind of assume if you're watching this, you already you already know everything. Otherwise, skip ahead a bit. Um, but we do end up finding out that Sturges is, is a synth. Uh, so any backstory that we think he has is, is not actually canonical because uh, his memories would have been replaced by the railroad, I believe. I think he's a railroad uh, synth, which is fascinating uh, and really supports my theory that synths are, are just like people. Uh, if they really, if you really can't tell, and it sounds like nobody's been able to tell. Hmm. I think we leave the kitchen kind of simple for him. Um, but then this we can clean up. Actually, if I were Sturges, I think I would want more space to be able to make things in the main part of the house, and then I would have more of a kitchenette, you know? So maybe I scrap some things on this side. I can scrap the stove, because that's obviously not still working, and this cabinet, because we made some more cabinet space over here. And now maybe we make the little, like, kitchenette for him so that way we don't have to do a seating area in the rest of the house uh because again i'm just guessing for sturges here but he seems like the kind of guy to want to use space efficiently so he can have more room for other projects Oop, and we're getting a radiation storm aren't we that's cool mm, that table feels too small that would be a good one I guess we'll just build through the rads. Oh, there we go. This kind of chair. Yeah, yeah. I know. Maybe a light. Stur just seems like more of an oil lamp kind of guy. And a little dead plant. He can fix most things, but not that. Okay, that's good. And then do I have any, not junk, but like food for him? Maybe some mac and cheese and cram and some snack cakes because he's technically a sin and they like those. Oh, this storm is really messing up, messing up my vibes, but that'll be okay. Okay, there. So now that we've done the kitchen as like a full like kitchenette, all this space can be used for whatever crafting stuff we want to give him. Uh, so maybe actually we move uh, like the armor thing that we just put outside inside. Because what I want to give Sturges to be like actually assigned to, is it in crafting or is it in resources? Is the scavenging station. I think that makes sense uh, to like give him a job. Wow, it is icky out. We'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that. No radiator. And again, we are done with these sleeping bags. But Sturges, yeah, I think he would make the entire house <laughs> or as much as he could 
for what's his line of dialogue he's like most people break things but i put them back together (laughs) so i would imagine he's like the repairman for the entire town and i think that makes sense Mm, an upper cabinet would that fit it wouldn't fit there could it fit here yes it could great Mm, actually that might be too big would it fit on the other side hey buddy this is for you Ooh, that fits really nice. Yeah, if we just ignore that extinguisher poking it out, that's that's nice. Hmm. Is there a bigger um, armor? Weapons, weapons, power armor, cooking. No, I guess it just is the one option for armor. That's okay. Uh, let's give him some shelving. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then we can keep scrapping. Anyway, back to the synth thing. Because I think a lot of people uh, put a lot of stock. Oh, we can leave him his radio for working too. A lot of people put a lot of stock into what the Institute terminals say about synths. Um, and I don't trust those because like since are their claim to fame and they're not reporting like there's no like accountability for what the institute says they can do because of course they're going to exaggerate like what their designs can do and so i don't think that's a reliable source of information i think a more reliable source of information is uh in the covenant quest when uh that doctor says there's no way to distinguish a synth from a human because I think she has a little more motivation to try and like figure that out and be able to prove it. Whereas the Institute, they can just kind of lie. And I'm talking about like the terminal entries that say things like, ooh, synths have better uh, disease resistance and stuff like that. Like, of course, of course they would exaggerate those effects. They have every motivation to exaggerate those effects. If you're a scientist whose job it is to make sense better, you have more motivation to lie to father and be like, yeah, things are super duper. Uh, we've solved disease, you know? So I think we need to doubt the Institute a little bit. I think the only difference between... Ooh, let's see if there's like a good mechanical poster for him. I think the only difference between synths and naturally born people is just that, like just how they were created. And then, of course, the plastic implant that can disrupt brain function. But I don't, I don't think that makes them less human. Back alley bowling... Juke and Jive. These posters are so good, and I've been underusing them for years. Like I don't think I realized how adorable they are. I love all of them. Somebody uh, in the comments in the last video pointed out how ironic it was that the Fallout universe was so against communism, and all these settlements run like a lot more communist. It's just, it's ironic. Okay, we're back to these. What works for Sturges? That's the general hospital one. Could mass fusion be something? Maybe this global network. What is this? Phone and television services seems seems in line with like what you would expect. Um, from like a repair shop. Okay, maybe it won't go back there. So maybe it'll live here. My theory is because we don't actually have like a store um, for him, this would be the counter of the repair shop where people could come in and be like, hey Sturges, uh, my pit boy is flaring up and he would be here to service those for people. Oh, we'll give him a clock. The texture of the wall is beautiful, but it's gonna eat anything I put there. Oh no, I thought that would pop out on top. I guess it'll go, can it go up there? It can, it's kind of weird though. Maybe right there. That's fine, not ideal, but. Ooh, let's go ahead and do the house number. So what was the last house number that we had? 
I have a little, <laughs> I made myself a little diagram for this because uh, I went into the last part of the build without a plan. So now I really, I have a plan. Okay, so the Kem's house was 06. So does that make Sturges 07? Yes, it does. I love these little letters. I love that we're getting to use them. I'm delighted, delighted by this. Okay, so Sturgis is 07. And I don't believe that Sturgis has a last name, or maybe Sturgis is his last name. Stur... This is really testing my knowledge of the alphabet, which it turns out haven't practiced a lot since kindergarten. Sturgis. Yeah. I've realized ever since I um, like started working as a software engineer, my spelling has gotten so much worse because it doesn't need to be right to be a variable name. But that's okay. Okay. That's a lovely little workshop for him. That's lovely. Okay. That's good. Maybe another light on this side. Ooh, and probably a fire barrel outside for people trying to find him. There we go. And let's do some rubber flooring for him or for people standing there. Actually, if somebody was standing there waiting, maybe they would need a little chair too. So let's do a little chair in the corner. Mm. Bench, that looks uncomfortable. Maybe this is a chair that he's recently repaired, like the rolly wheel of, so it'll stay there for customers to appreciate. Okay, cabinet, that's really nice. Okay, that's really cute, that's coming together. Okay, and then he has a bathroom, and this will be his bedroom? Where was the bedroom in this house? Am I, like, am I crazy? Or was there no bed ever in this house? <laughs> okay. So, we could do, like, bedroom and then office. No, I think he deserves a bathroom. We'll get rid of the bathtub. Uh, and then we'll get rid of the toilet because I've been doing the nicer toilets for the bathroom and it feels, it feels really mean to give everybody else a nice toilet and then be like, Sturges, <laughs> you get the worst one. We'll give him a nice one. I'm not going to discriminate against synths. I'm very pro synth. Doesn't need a stool. Does need a working sink though. It's important to wash your hands. There we go. I want, I think once we do um, Vault 88, I think it is, we'll get the like posters that say wash your hands from Vault Tech and I can't wait to have those. I might have to push up that build just because. And then there's so much room over here. I think Sturgis would use that as like extra storage for stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I think just naturally, he's got a lot of um, junk that maybe would just go here because uh, there's no room for it. Is that too big? Why is that fighting me? Oh, I guess that is really big. Let's rebalance that. This will come out. That'll go in the corner. And then this will go in that dip, so it's a little more visually balanced. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Okay. And then maybe a plant or something. Decorations. Do we have any good vault decorations, or is it just... Dang, I thought we were going to have the... Um the actual thing that's in that preview, the console, but it looks like we only have Christmas trees. We really got to do the Vault 88 build so I can get more of their stuff. That's useless for us right now in this scenario, not useless in general. Nothing is useless in general. 
Like maybe we'll find somewhere for this lovely fountain. Okay, let's do an oil lamp in here. Actually, he's got the candles. Let's do one anyway. And let's do another dead plant. Okay. Oh, let's do um, a little bath mat. Um, and I know I'm putting rubber floors or the rubber flooring in every room here, but I kind of feel like that's, I feel like Sturgis would have more of like a bachelor pad. Like he doesn't know how to decorate. Why would he? Um, and I like the idea that he's like, yes, a good rug, a good rug in every room. Let's give him a uh, hammer feels aggressive to be in the bathroom. Is there anything here? Scissors, screwdriver. Let's give him a screwdriver. I feel like he would have a screwdriver in every room. Just as a matter of principle. That, yeah, that's nice. Ever since uh, y'all pointed out how often I say that's lovely, I can't unhear it. I'm so aware now of how much I say it. Ooh, we'll leave that cabinet because it's very cute. That lamp I'll get rid of though. Uh, and can I move this? Ooh, it's gonna get rid of that lamp. Let's leave that as is, uh, but we'll put a bed on this side. It looked like a hollow tape was on the floor for a second. Y'all see that? Oh well. And usually I can do this bigger bed. Ooh, actually maybe I do have room for that. I was gonna give him a small one because uh, I feel like he would prioritize using floor space for maybe a desk goes here. Yeah, because he's got to track his business expenses. I think a lot about uh, whether or not people in these settlements have to pay taxes. Um, and I've gotten some comments about it too. I know y'all are just as divided on it as I am, to be honest. Uh, cause I, there's no like central governing body and the Minutemen would be very, you know, no taxation without representation. But at the same time, like how else can we pay for the guards? You know, cause the guards work all the time. They're not going to be able to afford food if they're not paid. And how can they be paid if like the community isn't sharing in that expense? So I don't know. I think that each settlement might kind of have to figure that out for themselves. But I do think that shopkeepers would have to at least track and plan for their businesses. Okay, there he's got his little desk. Something here. Maybe a comfier chair. Or maybe something that he's in the middle of fixing for himself personally. Like this. Maybe he found this, hasn't had a chance to fix it yet, but he loves a challenge. Yeah, I hate it in the best way I hate it. In like the, some guy invited you over and you walk into his room and you're like, oh, that's that's your decorating taste, cool. And that uh, feels very Sturges. Maybe one more poster here. I'm sorry I'm making him like kind of a college frat boy, but I'm actually not sorry. Hmm. What kind of art does Sturges like? We can just give him a little basic one. Maybe it was a gift. A gift from Mama Murphy or the Longs at some point. Yeah, that I love this as Sturge's little one room, like studio, bachelor pad, cabinetry. Oh, that's really good. Hmm, anything here? I don't think that he would ever miss the opportunity for more storage or working space or whatever. So maybe some filing cabinets back here? He would definitely make good use of floor space. 
this like a hard section to fill? Why is this so, uh, give me a hard time. Maybe the big one, and then we'll just call it the one. This one slides in nicely. Why are the other ones fighting me so hard? Oh well. That's fine. I wish we could fit in more, but that'll be okay. Okay. This, I love this so much. Let's see if there's uh, any other junk we can give him before I call it for him. I like the idea. Let's give him a little silver locket that maybe somebody gave him to repair and he's still working on. Uh, typewriter would be a good project for him too. A wrench. Vacuum tube. And wonder glue. These feel like good objects for him. Okay, so this is currently being worked on. So that's going to go on a shelf of active projects. Yeah, let's call that that. Same with the typewriter. That maybe is something he has repaired but hasn't sold to the general trader yet. Wrench is a good tool for him to have. Vacuum tube. What is a vacuum tube? Is that like a TV or radio thing? You can never have enough glue. Hey, bud. Wow, he already knows where to go. All right, we'll assign him to the bed so he knows where to sleep. I don't even need to dress him up. He's already in the perfect outfit. And scavenging station. Yay. Uh, maybe a bench out here to complete the look. Yeah, that feels nice. Hey, and then I will still need space for the general stuff. Let's do, I know I said the fire barrel was gonna be enough, but since we've given the other houses the little um, oil lamps, I think I wanna give him an oil lamp too. Just like that to keep things kind of consistent. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That feels good. And then just continuing on with that. I'll get rid of this and this. I was thinking because this house is totally ruined, uh, maybe we scrap this, build a warehouse on top of it, and then this is like the construction warehouse for the whole town. And this can be where I put the power armor and steamer trunk. Ooh, did we get a cat? We did get a cat. <gasps> Hello. I wish I could name the cats. Hi. Okay. We'll repair that and set it up again just to try and get more. I love, uh, putting animals in my settlements, both because they bring up happiness and they're really cute. Um, and remember, we put a cat bowl in Mama Murphy's house and we could do, we could collect a ton of cats for Mama Murphy. We could just keep going and putting them all in her house. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Should I set up more cat cages to try and like increase that? Yes. Yes. Yes, I should. I just, that's so funny to me, making Mama Murphy a, a cat lady. I don't really know why, but <laughs> that's what we're going to go with. Okay, warehouse house. Let's scrap this big old ruined house. Actually, before I do that, I just want to peek inside it. I just, why is it ruined, you know? There's so much fallout, or not fallout. Uh, there's so much sanctuary lore that I want to know more about. All right, let's do it. Boom. Oh, I love how satisfying it is that we still keep the like clean slate for this. I'm checking my little map to make sure this is what I wanted to do for this one. Yes. I planned ahead this time, you guys. <laughs> Sanctuary is big. 
which is great. It just, it can be really overwhelming. Oh, Matt stuck around. Okay. What do I have? There, maybe I don't have it yet, but I know that there is, um, maybe it's part of the automatron like DLC, but there's like manufacturing. Um, so I might have to unlock that and then come back to this. But my vision for this like warehouse space is that it's where I as the general can store my power over and stuff, but also like new construction would come out of, maybe some manufacturing would come out of. Uh, so we might have to just kind of build, ooh, not that, build the warehouse shell of it. And then that's cool. I don't know. I don't want to prefab. Build the warehouse shell of it and then come back to it once we have that. And I actually, I don't feel like I need flooring here because I like the natural flooring. Yeah, we can just kind of build around that. That's fine. Well, maybe. Maybe not. If I put down flooring, would that help us? Or would it? Because my, my worry is if I snap it to the flooring, yeah, then it kind of floats above the ground like that, which I don't love. Let me see what I can do. Uh, really wants to um, form a corner. Hmm. Oh, is this for a big garage wall? Oh, we should try and do that. I never use that part of the set and it's so cool. Wow, these windows are gorgeous. I saw a different comment that uh, somebody uses this as like a greenhouse and they put the garden plots inside it and that's so brilliant. I love that so much. I might steal that idea. It's, it's lovely. Maybe if I do that, then it'll be forced to, yeah, go to the side. Well, maybe it's just that wall that doesn't like it. All right. Oh. It seems like some walls don't like being there. Okay. We can at least flesh it out with other walls and then revisit once we're all formed. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that for now. This one I'm worried. Uh, oh, how does this snap? Uh, like I said, when I was doing the general trader house, it always feels like I run the risk of like a Sims, early Sims, just building a big block house. Uh, and it's just a big empty block because that's the only way I knew how to build houses when I started playing the Sims. All right, same problem here. I guess this is what I get for deciding to do it without the um, floor. But I have no doubt that we're gonna figure it out. Oh, we could do stairs. We could do a whole second level. I've never done a second level in a warehouse. And that could be so cool here. Yeah, we could do a two-story warehouse. I feel like Sanctuary would kind of be like the capital. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know that Diamond City would be more of like the capital, but for us as the Minutemen, I feel like this would be our most important hub of things. Okay, we're just going to build out the rest of the walls because uh, these are really fighting me. There we go. Cool. Um, and then I want to do that big... I want to figure out how to do uh, these doors. Like, do they need to connect? Is it like a single garage door? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Okay. 
What's this then? That takes up. Is that just like a wall by itself? Like if I get rid of that wall, get rid of this wall, get rid of this wall, can that just like be the wall? Because that could be kind of cool. And I would imagine that we have some generators in here, so I'm not worried about power. Uh, conduit? Or no, not conduit. Um, connector. Right? That's how power works. Maybe? I thought this would just... Um, I mean, I thought it would just work, to be honest. Does the power have to go somewhere specific? We're learning something new here today, together. Oh, that's where the power goes. <laughs> it's better that the generator would be outside anyway. we come out here that's cool yeah that's cool okay and then now that we have this whole structure we can replace the walls with better walls <laughs> because I'm hoping that the, the window one will snap in here because we already have two sides for it. There we go. Oh, I'm so glad that paid off. Yeah, yeah. And how does the second story work? I'm thinking this kind of see through -y one. Could be like the second story on this side. But then where does this go? Oh, it would just come out right there. That kind of blocks the door. How much space does it need? Because could I do... No. Right, because that would be... Hmm. I definitely don't want to block the garage door because if we're manufacturing something that needs to be like rolled out but maybe if I do this and then that I'm going to try something different hold on if we do it like this way and then this will fit. There we go. There we go. That's cool. What are the littler stairs for? I don't know. Let's do a front door. And then we could do the second story kind of wrapping around like this. Oh, we do have the half walls. That's what the littler, um, what's the word? Stairs, <laughs> thank you. Stairs are for. Yeah, this is kind of like attic space. I like windows, even if they're broken and don't make sense. Don't make sense in, in terms of like, um, you know, you'd think that the Commonwealth would be more insulated, 
against bad weather. That's not going to be enough uh, headroom. So let me just extend that. Yeah, we still want people to come up and down the stairs. Maybe this wouldn't be enough space for anybody to walk, but that's kind of okay, because my my bet is that this would be mostly storage. Ooh, I forgot about the pillars. I always forget about the pillars, and y'all are not shy about letting me know that I'm not using the pillar glitches enough for you. <laughs> okay with that you know and I've said this before I always think of limitations as like a great scaffolding for building something really cool I think sometimes building something with absolutely no limitations can be overwhelming and so I really don't mind not being able to place things in certain ways sometimes because that gives me a, a starting point But I will try and use the pillar glitch if that's important to you. I'll figure it out. Wow, that's so cute for a greenhouse. Whoever commented that, you're absolutely brilliant. That's, I might have to make a greenhouse with this set at some point. I didn't know it had so many like glass roofs. All right, let's just do like a normal one. Like, I guess this could be the roof, uh, but then really nobody can walk through it, which is okay. Let's do that. What does that look like from the front? I hope it just kind of looks like a cap. Oh, this is tall enough for me to walk under. Why was I thinking I was so tall? Okay, so this, ooh, is that like the perfect fit for that? Let me turn on my, ooh. That's not what I wanted to do. Let me turn on my pit boy light so I can see better. Yeah. We might have to experiment with some roof pieces to get this right. Because that works. Actually, I might like that a second option better of just kind of meeting all the corners together. I might like that better on the outside too. Let's go see how things look. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat, you guys. That's really cool. Thing I am gonna do is change this wall to one without windows because that way we can hang the Minuteman flag from the outside and make it really clear that this is like the factory for the Minuteman. Like this could be where we um, not generate, produce uh, like ammo. I don't like this piece now. I don't like this piece either. Let's do... Let's use the corner pieces for both of these, actually. Partly because I'm having a hard time keeping track <laughs> of, of all the pieces. There we go. There we go! Okay, do we have railings? We don't have railings within the warehouse set. Can we use... Oh, we could use the scaffolding one, but I don't love it. Does the barn have any railings? No. Does the wood... I don't want wooden railings. No. 
metal. I don't think so. Concrete? Concrete might. No, I guess not. Mm -mm. I forgot about an elevator that would have been cool here, but I think a little too big for us. I don't use these box cars ever either. That would be cool. Okay, good to know. I think the scaffolding railing is our best bet. Yeah, that's still very metally and cool. I can't believe I thought this was too short for me to walk through. There's plenty of room. We'll do some containers up here because I feel like this would be a lot of overflow storage. So we'll do that. I want like some trunks. Yeah. Metal box. Extra tools. This will go of that. Maybe another wooden crate. Maybe these things are like they've been delivered from some other settlements. Let's do... Which way does this darn thing open? Metal box. Oh, now we can use these littler filing cabinets here. switch these. I want the heavier visual weight farther back. There we go. Wow, these filing cabinets have like a bigger um, collision box than I would expect on them. Like by a lot. Oh well. No, I think I hate that. Oh, that's too bad. Let's see if the other one fits better. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. What's going on with these? Oh, well. Let's do another steamer trunk, maybe. Maybe this corner is just cursed. Let me see how this all feels so far. I feel like these boxes should be together, not separate. So maybe this one comes back over here. Yeah, that's fine as this upstairs storage. We got cabinet, crate, some metal boxes, extra tools. That's fine. Because that's just the upstairs. Okay. So if I had more manufacturing pieces, I think those would go over here, but I don't. So let's grab the steamer trunk that I've been using. Pull it over here. Since I don't have manufacturing pieces yet, uh, and I don't wanna have to go in Sturge's house every time I wanna make something, Let's go ahead and put uh, some more pieces. Let's swap these. This comes over here to work on our power armor. Steamer trunk goes next to it. This pole's kind of really bothering me. Do we think two is enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we have armor workbench and weapons workbench. I think this is gonna feel a little underdone no matter what, because we don't have those manufacturing pieces. So this is something that I'll have to come back to, but that'll be okay. We have so much more to do in Sanctuary that I don't wanna get stuck on one thing. Do 
Don't laugh at me for trying to make these filing cabinets work so badly. I think they could here. There we go. That's lovely. Let's do... This on top. Okay. Yeah, I mean, no matter what, it's going to feel... Oh, we have power. Why not do um, a real light? Kind of forgot about that. Is that too far away? Yeah, that's too far away. Uh, so what can we do on this wall where we have the power connected like that? And that? Oh, well this wasn't really connected anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to do this with a single wire so it's less messy. We'll still keep this right next to it. There we go. Okay, so we got two lights. Is there anything else with power that would be useful here? Hmm. That's where the decontamination arch was. I needed that. Oh, is here where all the manufacturing stuff was and I was just wrong? Why did I think we didn't have it? Well, there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this will scooch over here. Wow, I really just thought we didn't have that yet. I've, okay, I've never done anything with this before. Uh, I think ammunitions plant. Oh, I don't have demolition. Yeah. Okay, I've never done this before. really cool let's go minute man okay so we need eight power for that that is a lot that makes us five was there a bigger generator that I could give them oh I'm so happy we found that <sighs> power not lights generators this one makes 10 uh, which would be enough but can I pass the power let's get rid of you oh I forgot what's gonna lock me out we need to get that inside can Conduits help us out because this won't, right? Like that won't pass through. But I think a conduit will. Like, yeah, the wall pass through. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. <gasps> Which one of these makes the most sense? Like that. All right, hold on, because this will change how we do lighting too. Now, how do we? Yeah. 
gonna cover it up a little more with this thing because it does look a little a little hacky not that I have a problem with hacky mind you I love hacky okay so that connects to that which comes around to here and powers our door but it also powers bah, 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 this thing so now if I do that, we can pass the power from there to there, and then there to there. <gasps> okay, that's delightful. Uh, that also means that we can get some stronger lighting than the industrial wall lights, because the industrial wall lights, uh, they're a little, it's like warm lighting, and I feel like we, we need something harsher, if that makes sense. Okay, and I'm just connecting these things so then we can do like this here, this here, maybe one here. Yeah. You guys, this looks awesome. work light yeah that's really cool that's really cool uh, let's turn this oh not the wall a little bit okay yeah so oh, I keep grabbing the wall we want people to be able to work on armor or weapons. Let's scooch that out of the way, because I think this is where stuff would go in. Hmm. I want... Um, these crates to be out here because my thinking is you know the ammo is being produced in the warehouse and then we would load up these crates and then uh, provisioners would take them and take them to the rest of our settlements because this this would be like our manufacturing base because we're not making ammo at any other settlement Let's go ahead and put that Minuteman flag up before I forget like that. I really thought this warehouse was just kind of going to be like a throwaway thing uh, and leave it mostly empty, but it's really coming together in a way I didn't expect, and I love that. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's figure out how this works. What do I put in an ammunition plant? Like, if I put in steel. Does that make anything? Probably should have looked this up. But I'm also okay just leaving it. As is for now. I don't even remember where we found this. Who's in power? Ooh. Ooh. That's what would come out. Oh, there's so much cool stuff that you could do with this. Order. Vacuum hopper. Okay. Oh, we have to connect a terminal to decide what to build. Oh, we can do a terminal. I know this terminal is awful to read, but... <laughs> 
I think it's our best option. How much, how much power are we taking up? One, two, eight. Oh, what do people need? I guess most people have pipe pistols. Let's just start with the 10, uh, just to see what happens. Lead and fertilizer. Oh, well now we know. Okay. So we'll fill that up with lead and fertilizer at some point, but that's awesome. All right, the Minutemen really have a fighting chance. Is there like a um, a switch? Not a logic gate. A switch. Yes. That's not gonna work, is it? Okay, hold on. Because I, I want us to be able to open and close the door. Conduits and switches. That's connected there, that's connected there. Because if I do this, Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's perfect. Okay. I love that. I'm obsessed with that. Okay. Perfect. Uh, these are trucking along. Ooh, let's move the power armor. I don't even remember where I got this power armor because, to be honest, I've skipped most of the quests. I guess I did the rescue Quincy settlers, though, because they're here. I don't think we'll be able to fit in the front door, so let's go in the back door. And we'll just park this baby right here. There we go. All right, warehouse, done. I love that. Okay, and then did we do this house? No, because this is, oh, oh, we forgot to do um, door numbers. Sturges was seven, I think. Yeah. So seven. This will be eight. And then this will be nine. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Decorations, wall decorations, lettering. nine and then is there a word ammo is correct we didn't use ammo already did we i feel like we might have on the guard house but that's okay ammo house okay that's wonderful oh we are coming close to the size limit already that's what scrapping's for Right? I hope that brings us back down enough to do everything I want to do. Because I have some ideas for this house. Let's, let's see if we can get that back down in green before starting on this house. I know I've seen comments, and I know that technically you can drop modded weapons. Oh, can I get this corner piece? Uh, and then scrap those and that'll push the size limit up. I understand that you can do that. I don't like doing that because it doesn't actually increase the size limit. It just glitches past it. Uh, and the problem is that that can still break your game. Uh, like the size limit is there so the frame rate stays okay and things don't crash. And so you can get around it 
but at some point, then your game is gonna start to lag and be weird and possibly break. And also again, like I've said this before, I don't mind limitations on creating things. I actually like having some limitations on how I can create things because it, it forces me to work around them and I feel like then I can be more creative. Oh, there we go, we're back in the green. Uh, and I said this before, but I'll say it again. When I, when I make my own games, I usually start thinking about them with like where my own limitations are. Because if I'm working with somebody else, I can do a lot more. If I'm working by myself, I think my weakest, uh, my weakest skill is art. And so if I'm making something by myself, I have to consider that, oop, let's put the dog bowl out by the Long's house. I have to consider that, and we'll just put it there for now. And that usually means that I'm gonna do something with like a very hand-drawn look. And I don't think of that as like a negative limitation. I think of that as like, okay, that's a neat place to start brainstorming. And that can be so helpful because otherwise you can get stuck. Like if Sanctuary was just like a huge empty space with unlimited uh, building restriction, I don't think I would make anything because I, I don't I don't know where, where I would start with that. It would just be overwhelming. All right, we're cleaning this up. It would be cool to let everybody have like a personal backyard with a picket fence. I'm just trying to see if we need a guard post, any of these places. Toaster? Oh, I kind of like the toaster. I'll move this inside. Actually, no, because this house won't have a kitchen. And I will tell you why. But for now, let's put it in the workshop. Is there anything else? There's this whole farm, but right now that is our only source of food, so we're gonna leave it there for now. Okay, so this is the house of tomorrow, right? This is where the soul survivor lived before the bombs dropped. So let's just check it out first, because there's some cool stuff. We got the trifold American flag, which would have been Nate's, I believe. Gosh, I always hated that Nora's background was lawyer because I feel like it just makes more sense for her to be army too, especially then becoming the general of the Minutemen, but I'm just exploring this before we uh, tear it all apart. Saucepan, salt, pepper. Let's take these things for decorating later. I love this robot arm that's like a, a mixer. That's so cool. Bread box. And then these notes have always been like my favorite thing. HVAC not working right. Call repairman. Shopping list. Get more sugar bombs and Nuka Cola. And then we have the October calendar. We were supposed to refill the handy fuel and have dinner with the Myers. Like that's just those little details. I, I'm obsessed. And then bathroom, bedroom, Sean's room. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm thinking because I'm really obsessed with this idea. But I think this wouldn't be where we live anymore. I think this could be where Codsworth lives. And Codsworth, I feel like would be really good as our clothing vendor because uh, he's so personable and friendly and loves helping people. I think we can turn this whole house into Codsworth's, oops, I'll take an umbrella stand, into Codsworth's clothing store. Because uh, I think we can assign him to that. And if we can't actually, then we will at least pretend because I need this idea to happen. So I'm gonna start putting things away. And that's the vision. That's the goal here. I came up with that idea last night and I was like, I have to make that. Codsworth doesn't need a kitchen. I love the idea of letting him stay here because he's been waiting here for like 200 years. 
Codsworth is also so interesting because, oh, I really can't get rid of that though, can I? I can pull the door off the fridge. Oh, I can scrap the whole fridge. Okay, let's do that then. He's just so interesting because he's clearly gained some kind of sentience. Uh, like, I, I think that Codsworth counts as uh, AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. Okay. So let's give him clothing. And is there a way for me to keep both? Like the kitchen area stays, but also this stays. Because, I, I mean, Codsworth, I feel like, would want to honor. Would want to honor what was there. And also, he can use this for storage. He, he I mean, he does understand what a kitchen is because he lived there with us when we used it. But maybe he's also, like, serving coffee to people. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Codsworth's, Codsworth's closet and cafe. Can't tell me that's not the cutest thing. Is there a place that we could put that on a sign? Like with the neon letters here? I feel like, well, maybe. I'm worried white wouldn't stand out enough on this house. Maybe it would. Oh, I guess I can put letters all the way here, so I think that'd be okay. God. How do we spell Codsworth? Cods. <laughs> really does feel like I'm in kindergarten again. Ooh, that's going to cut us off. Okay, hold on. Oh, that moves the whole thing. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Unlike those other letters we've been using. I could have done street numbers with these the whole time. That's fine. I like what we've been doing. I don't think I would change it. It's just good to know. God's worth. And then did we have an apostrophe? Or we didn't have an apostrophe. We do have an apostrophe. This was meant to be. God's worth. And we'll do closet. Pretty sure I know how to spell closet. I don't know uh, alphabetical order though, which <laughs> would be easier if I did, right? E, T, and do we have like an ampersand or is that really expecting too much? Or like a plus sign? Number one, zero question mark, hyphen. Quotation marks. Gosh, they do give you a really a bunch of cool stuff to work with. Maybe we do like apostrophe N. Like, ooh, no, I did um, quotation marks. I don't need quotation marks. Yeah, like closet and cafe, like short for and. You get it. You see the vision. Okay, did I spell all of this right? If I didn't, do not tell me. I don't want to know. Can I move? Ooh, it selected some of it. I scooch all of it like a little bit left? Nope. Oh, I can a little. 
and then we can sort of recalibrate. Yeah, because some of this is getting hidden. That's okay. Some of it moved with us. Closet. In. Cafe. Okay, I think that works. We just got to put a generator down. And then I think we need a conduit to make that happen. I would assume that Codsworth is very good with mechanical stuff. Closet and cafe. I'm obsessed. We'll do um, we'll do this like a cozy little cafe, and then we'll make this whole thing. Cause Codsworth doesn't need a space to sleep, so we can make all of these like um, like try on rooms for him, which is just adorable. Okay, I would go hang out here. I would absolutely live here. I can't even tell you guys, like, when I thought of this idea, I was immediately like, oh my god. Okay, what stool? Can I match that one? Yes, I can. Oop, clicked out too soon. There we go. We'll scooch these out a little bit so people can actually sit. Oh no, that's not the same stool. This one looks more comfortable, though, so let's do both, like, that. Are those the same? Yes. And we'll put this coffee cup up on the counter. Oh, I can't even tell you how excited I am by this. Because that way, too, the fireplace still makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. We need, like, a fancy little couch. I feel like this can be a, a like, little mismatch collection of all, like, the cool seating. Do a rug. Actually, this couch fits better in this corner, and this one can be over here. Or does this one make more sense as like the back, like it was when we came in? This would be the hot social spot in town. Wow, I'm kind of, see, I'm kind of glad that we couldn't scrap the things in the kitchen because it forced us to incorporate them and it, that's beautiful. That's just, that is so lovely. like cigarettes in here I kind of guess they do like I'm not I'm not a fan but I think that would be a, a cute cozy thing in a cafe in this world that's cute that's cute this one, I think. It's like the biggest and grandest. And I think because this is kind of like a cozy, you know, kitschy cafe, we'll just kind of smack a bunch of paintings down. This one is my favorite painting, like genuinely favorite painting, like wood hang in my own house painting. I know Codsworth can't sit, but if he wanted to, if he wanted to, he would. 
I want to put a plant somewhere, maybe back here. Codsworth would be able to take care of a plant. I have so much faith, faith in Codsworth. Definitely a welcome mat. Okay, I can't really get rid of that, this stuff, and that's fine. Like, the bathroom can just stay as is. Codsworth would absolutely keep Mr. Handy Fuel, but the washer we can get rid of, and the dryer we can get rid of. And I'll leave the box there, because I think that's cute. Hmm. I don't, actually, you know what? I might scrap the chair, or at least move it. Is it too busy to put it down here? Yeah, because then I can't walk through this way. I don't want to block the fireplace. Okay, maybe we lose this yellow chair because I think we do need some storage for um, the clothing stuff. Which, let's put the mannequins in this storage room. I like the idea that there's just like some extra ones being creepy in the closet. Uh, but we can do like a dresser here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oop, why didn't that fit? Ignore the fact that it goes through the ceiling. Ooh, a little hamper. I can't get out that way. Let's do a hamper in... I'm imagining this would be like a room where they can try on and shop, so I'm going to put a hamper there. I might move that. But as a placeholder, and a little bookcase that we will put some clothes on as decoration. In fact, let's do that now. I'm pretty sure I have some outfits that would be cool. Chef's hat, absolutely. Formal hat, yes. Laundered loungewear, yes. Red dress, yes. Just to decorate the shelves with. Oh, I thought the laundered loungewear would look cooler, to be honest. Okay, we'll come back and we'll put it on the shelf properly. Same with this. I guess it looks clean. And that's nice. Codsworth does appreciate clean things. There we go. And I usually have some junk for... Oh, we should do the shopping baskets in the general trader. But there's like cotton yarn and an iron. Yeah. Ooh, and we'll definitely do some more coffee stuff for the cafe side. If anybody can handle two businesses in one, I have full faith in Codsworth. another coffee cup, didn't I? This floor plan is a little... Actually, the iron could just stay right there. It's kind of nice. Yeah. That's so cute. Okay, his refueling station. Ooh, and we can do more storage in here. 
a dresser. A dresser would be good. Come here. We're gonna scooch. Oh. Perfect. And then a suitcase on top. I think it is nice. Maybe two. I feel like he would have collected a lot of this clothing through suitcases and just brought them back with. Any wall decorations? I feel like there was a Mr. Handy poster. Am I correct? Correct in that guess? I need it to get off my face. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, let's do the Slocum Joes. Let's replace um. No. Let's replace the cat poster with the Slocum Joes. I didn't want to move these together. Uh oh. oh I forgot that these could light up. that they can light up and honestly I don't really care if they're lit or not so I'm not going to worry too much about that but it's cute actually are we close enough that a lamp would light up if I put it here instead of the candles feels a little sacrilegious to replace the candles with how much I love them but No. What if, if I just scooch this a little closer? Still not close enough. It would it would be cool to have power in here because Codsworth is a robot. Let's see if we can do the pass-through thing again. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but that would be cool. Oh, that's gonna block the whole thing. Where does that put it? Where did that put it? Hold up. That's nice and not too intrusive. That's not the worst. Because maybe then. All right, hold on. We need the ground one. I really, I don't know how to use these conduit pieces properly. Let's move this. Over here. Get rid of this. You go here. That didn't power that on. Oh, because do we need this to actually make that happen? There we go. <gasps> That's lovely. Oh my gosh. And that lights up too. Codsworth has figured out how to use electricity. Oh my gosh. Could we use this thing to like replace this other one? 
Oh, wait, this opens up so many cool lighting options. Okay, 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 hold up. Hmm. Like, that's too far away, right? Yeah. And we could wire up. We could wire up the rest of the house. I think I would move the cat painting out of the way if that's what we were going to do. Actually, maybe not. Does that still, those all stay lit? I would love if we could replace, <laughs> we could just stack it. Fallout is so wrong for that. Okay, but hold on. Because we could do like, would that go? There's cool lighting stuff we can do for sure. Like that. That's cute. We just need to get the wiring. It would go like this. Is that enough? If I bring this, ooh, it just needs to be like that close. Okay, that's not awful. Okay. Yeah. That's really cute. I'm so proud of Codsworth. I'll scrap that. Okay, so now what is this room? That's ruined. That's kind of ruined. This is ruined. Let's go ahead and get rid of Sean's stuff. Just because again, I don't really care about Sean. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe other people feel the same way and I'm beating myself up for no reason. If you like Sean or you hate Sean, if you feel connected to baby Sean or not at all, please let me know because I, I don't. <laughs> I hate that that was like a character choice that we were kind of forced into like having a kid and there's not really a way to role play the game without that being true. Ooh, this is really loud now. This is a trick that one of you taught me. If we start it up, yeah, sometimes it starts with a different volume. Cosmics Closet Cafe. Oh wait, do we still need this thing now? No, right? Because we, we did it on the other side. Yeah, this we can get rid of. Okay, so this is his storage closet. This is still a bathroom. Um, yeah, that's still a bathroom. I want Codsworth to have a room, even if he doesn't have a bed. So maybe this is Codsworth's room. And maybe this is an extension of the closet. Just trying to see what what would make sense here. None of that. But definitely a dresser or two. I love the idea of the hamper. Uh, Cause I think like you might try stuff on in here. You might be getting changed in here. And then this is where we could actually dress up two mannequins. These would be the mannequins that are actively on display. I know they're technically armor racks. I never use them as armor racks. 
Let's do a rug or two. I think Codsworth would have gone like above and beyond to make this room really cozy. Ooh, and I can't, I can't put that down because there's stuff on the ground. All right, let's get these out of the way for a second. I feel like I could just hear Codsworth in his Codsworth voice telling people that they look, they look lovely in that. Some decoration. And again, the decorations in here, they don't need to be good because this was decorated by a robot. So we could scatter stuff around. Any posters that are like fashion y? I feel like we, we looked for one before and we didn't find any. So I'm not married to the idea of a poster. But is there anything miscellaneous? Ooh, yes. Is that a ceiling one or a wall one? Looks like a ceiling one. There we go. All right, so you can come in here, you do your shopping. Maybe this is good uh, for candles because the lighting is more flattering by candlelight. Definitely want an uh, ottoman. Maybe to drape the things you're trying on across. Probably like there. And if you have a friend coming shopping with you, it would be a place for them to sit and wait. Actually, in that, with that logic, maybe we do another chair in the corner. A luxury chair, of course, because this is a luxury shopping experience. Not many places in the Commonwealth have a shopping, a clothing store like this. This is, you know, very special. I actually think I have a vase. That would be good here. Yeah. Anything else? Ooh, clothes hanger. Yes. I drop this here will it float to the top uh-oh I guess not I can take it though and we'll put it there like they've they've tried something on this one can go here Codsworth is a good decorator okay oh, I love the black vest outfit I love the green shirt outfit, laundered dress. I love the newsboy cap. Tuxedo? Let's try, let's try the black vest. Where was that? Black vest and then newsboy cap. Yeah, that's a good like dandy boy. Let's do a, a pleasant, yeah. Uh, let's drop some more clothing in here too. Oh, let's put the tuxedo in here. It was too, I felt it was too fancy for like actually putting on the mannequin. I 
flight helmet. This strikes me as something that Codsworth wouldn't think of as like weird to be selling as clothing. So we'll include it for sure. Tuxedo is there. Okay, little shopping room, changing room, dressing room. I love that. I'm very, very into that. That is absolutely, truly lovely. Okay, and then the storage room. And then I think this is Codsworth's personal room. What would Codsworth need as a personal room? I know he doesn't need a bed, but maybe he would want one anyway. Like, I don't think he would think of that as weird as much as like replicating a human thing. We can do the thing we do with the bookshelf to kind of partition off the private area of the space. I also like the idea of giving Codsworth storage because I think he would save a lot of, let's do it this way. He would collect a lot of human things. Yeah, he's definitely got some mid-century modern sensibilities. Does that table feel like underwhelming? No, that works. And I was gonna say he doesn't need a dresser, but I think he would want his own dresser. And I want some kind of wall decoration. This is his private room, so I think we can can do a restricted area sign. Bathroom is not restricted though, just just his room. We'll do bathroom sign. Employees must wash hand sign. these don't really apply to clothing. Ooh, the floats one might though. Not as like clothing, but for the cafe. Maybe that won't fit. It's not really Codsworth's vibe anyway. Anything back here? Maybe this table makes more sense back here if I can find like a little wall art to go over it oh well if nothing can fit there then that kind of solves my problem of finding the right poster, huh? Yeah. There is a Misty Han Mr. Handy on the hospital poster, but let's do baseball because it's it feels like pre-war. And I think Codsworth would miss some stuff from before the war. He is absolutely a fan of fuel. All right, some posters for him there. A little painting. I love Codsworth. We'll 
do... I wanted to do a shelf, but I don't know if we can actually fit that. Does that look weird? No. Mm, yes. Yeah, shelf might not work in here. Let's do one more thing in this room, and I think it's going to be a clock. Where's the clock? That's a wall decoration, isn't it? I have the hardest time keeping this all sorted. Okay, that's Codsworth's room. Any junk that I can drop. I'm going to give him some money. Let's do two of these. And let's give him a locket, which maybe has some, like, if I can pretend that has a picture of the sole survivor or Sean in it. I think Codsworth cares a lot more about Sean than I do. Um, obviously money isn't worth anything to the other people here in the Commonwealth, but to Codsworth, I think it, it has some value. Okay. Codsworth's private room. Hey, Preston. It's been a while since I've seen you, bud. Okay. I'm fully obsessed with this. Let's do, oh, he needs a house number, doesn't he? Uh, what house number was he? This was 07, so this would be 08 for Codsworth. Is that right? Yes. Eight. And I don't think we need to spell out Codsworth again, because we did that in the neon sign. But I can do clothing like that. I know the conduit's blocking it, but we'll pretend that it isn't. Oh, and then we should do some outdoor seating. We should do some outdoor seating here. Maybe in the form of a picnic table. Because I want to save the bench for the diner. Picnic table and tables? Yes, it is. Yeah, let's do like that. And I don't want to put one in the leaves. So it'll just be like that. And then maybe the candles on the wall, which are under wall decorations. I'm getting better at this. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> Nope, never mind. Where are the wall candles? There we go. Let's actually make that more like perpendicular. There we go. And of course that pushed us back into the high size limit. But I think that's great. Let's see if we can find Codsworth and assign him. Scrap as we go. I really thought we would make it farther in this build. Gosh, Sanctuary is just... It's huge. <laughs> and there's still all this area. Guys, there's so much to do in Sanctuary. <sighs> God's worth. I know he's got to be here, right? Do we already do this house? Yeah, why do I still have a picket fence back here? It 
if Codsworth isn't here, or if I can't find him after all this, I will cry. This was the guardhouse. Oh, I actually don't mind the idea of the off-duty guardhouse having a, having a dog, because dogs provide protection. Who's... Oh, we got another person and they self-assigned as a guard! Oh, that's awesome! Though, I actually think it might bring up happiness more to have a general trader first. Easy living, this thing. Do you want to be our general trader? Yeah, because we're good on, on defense. Wow, I didn't even see we got another person. Amazing. We may have to use the um, vault manager thing and, and find Codsworth that way because I don't know where he is. Let's trade some things. I'm sure I have something you need. I want to trade a few things. Sure. Apparel. I've been saving the ratty skirt for the general store owner, so I'm so excited we get to use it. Uh, what's a good hat that goes with that? Remember, we made the general store so, like, scrappy. Like, just a ton of junk, collecting everything they can have. So I, I kind of want her to have... I'll try some stuff on. We'll try on the militia hat. And we'll try that on, too. Eyeglasses. Yeah, I like that. Visor's okay. Militia hat's kind of fun. I think I like the militia hat best. And I think I can do without the eyeglasses on her. We'll save that for somebody else. But I like that. It's like a little funky. And did she get assigned? Yes. Okay. We are on the hunt for Codsworth. Could he be? Okay. Uh, that's fine. If I can't find him, I will use a console command to generate him because there. Oh, Codsworth. Hey, Codsworth. Buddy. Oh. Now Codsworth, we can assign to work in Codsworth's cafe and closet, closet and cafe. Thank goodness. I thought after all that, we like weren't going to be able to assign him or something. Great, great. Oh, I love the Closet and Cafe. Okay. So we've got the Closet and Cafe. We've got the Armor House. We've got... What did I want to do with this house in my notes? I think this was going to be a weapons house. Hi, bud. Our little sanctuary revival project has really helped. It takes my mind off things. I hoped it would. Okay, so I think my plan was this was going to be a weapons house. This was going to be uh, possibly a hotel. Let's clean up some, some of this while we can. Because we are really pushing that size limit, you guys. Oh, thank goodness I can get rid of that. That would have been so frustrating if I couldn't. Okay, so that was going to be a weapons house, a hotel, and then I wanted to do a bar. These two can be fully scrapped. And then armor house. I think we have time for one more thing. And then we're going to have to stop again and break Sanctuary into a part three, which I am so sorry about. I really, I didn't even think it would be a two-parter. I can't believe that I, I keep dragging stuff out, but I am really happy with how, 
how we're making it happen. I think we can do the farm. Can I scrap these things? Yes, I can, thank goodness. I think we can set up the farm. Oh, but I can't scrap these, that's annoying. We'll set up the farm so we can clean up the front of Codsworth's place. And then I think we'll have to stop there and do the armor house, the weapons house, and possible hotel in part three. God, sanctuary really could be an infinite number of parts. But let me just clean this up so we get that build limit back down because we're about to build another picket fence. All these trees are dead, and that really bugs me. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. But at least we can make the build limit. Build limit, calm down. We'll clean some stuff up just as a meditative end to this video. I really need to, to thank you guys for watching and, ooh, I must have uh, forgotten that I generated a bunch of Picket Fences magazines and they just kind of floated into the river. All right. Uh, but like I was saying, I really need to thank you guys for all the support you've shown on these videos. It, it blows my mind. I'm having so much fun doing it. I love hearing all your suggestions and feedback and everything. And I just love having you here with me. I've seen a lot of comments, uh, that people kind of use these videos as background noise for things. Uh, so I made sure that there weren't mid roll ads. Cause I, I hope that's nice to not have any like shocking loud noise in the middle of it. If you're using this just as background noise or to fall asleep to, um, if you're not though, and you wouldn't mind that do let me know. I've seen some other people say that they use these videos. Uh, it's just sort of a comfy space when they're not feeling as comfy. And I hope you know that I'm proud of you for seeking out a comfy space to spend your time. That's really kind to yourself. And you're welcome here. And you're safe here. Just like all the settlers. I think about Fallout when I'm trying to fall asleep sometimes. Probably just because it doesn't have the stressors of employment or figuring out taxes or anything else that's actually going on in life. Sometimes when you're surviving, but not thriving, it can feel like a load off to really make that the only goal. You know, there's no expectations. Cleaning up, cleaning up the waterways. Okay, but this space over here did make the most sense for a farm. Oh, that size limit is still so dangerously high. Okay. But we could do like a few farm areas here. Maybe for like different um, types of crops. I do want to use the picket fence because it's such an iconic sanctuary thing, you know, and maybe this is where we use the, the pillar glitch to make it all line up nicely. Since I know so many of you have such strong thoughts about the pillar glitch, I get so many comments like, why don't I use the pillar glitch? You're, you're limiting yourself. I'm fine with limiting myself. I'm just trying to have fun, you know? kind of build out the shape we want. Oh, I 
don't need a post if I'm doing a gate here. I think the longs will be our farmers, which I know I said earlier I didn't want them to be, but I think they have to do something. And if they're managing a shop, then they wouldn't be able to live at home. And I want them to, to live at home together. So I think that leaves farming as their task. Okay, should I push it right up against, I forget what the house this is, the guard's house? Mama, you have your own house. I love a white picket fence. I already said that, didn't I? I want these to all open outwards. Although, if the farm is gonna be, no, I think I wanna move the farm up here. I'm just gonna try and grab this whole thing once I can. Which way, this way? Yeah. Oh, Mama Murphy's just moving around in there. Maybe she wants to be the, the guardhouse. I know I keep calling that the guardhouse. I think it is. I think it's two things. I think it's the off-duty house for guards. Like when they're not actively on rotation, it's it's a place to like sleep and be more comfortable. Uh, but I think it is also where the equivalent of a mayor would be. Oh, am I going to need to put a gate in to make this space space out the same way? I like the idea that every settlement has a mayor. Is this going to fit? Yes. Has a mayor, um, or at least some kind of representation that can help organize things. Okay, so what is the privilege that y'all are talking about? I think I got to get it closer to get that all to connect. Yeah, there we go. Y'all were right. Okay. Because now that'll all sink in beautifully. Okay. That is, this is the perfect use case for that. Let's move the melons out of the way because I do want it to scooch right up against the back of this house. I hope it's not grabbing anything in the house. It is grabbing the melons, but that's okay. Like that, I think is good. Yes, we're right up against the back of the house. Where did that um, melon go? Did I lose that? Oh, there it is. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. I don't love... Let me get rid of the melons. Oh, can I not get rid of the melons? Oh, no, I can store them. because uh, we have those mute fruit trees out in front of Codsworth's house that I'm going to move to the farm. I'm not going to do that one by one. I'm going to store and pull them out again. We just got to move fast because it'll, it'll tank our happiness in the meantime. And we need people to keep showing up. Okay. Happiness is still trending up. They're not starving yet. We gotta move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we gotta reassign people to those. That's okay. One. Two. Three. 
three. I'm just trying to make these all fit. Is that too far out? No, that feels okay. One, two, three, four, five. If I pull this out, there we go. That's the corn section. So that's three units of food. That's six units of food. So we need like six more things over here. If I can do that with carrots, I think. One. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I don't want to use the greenhouse idea here because I think sanctuary would have pretty fertile soil. I want to grab the longs for farming. I hope they're in their house. It would make me really happy. This is Murphy's house. Is this how I did their house? Yeah, that makes sense. One of them is. Where is your husband, Marcy? Marcy, I think, just needs something to do to keep her busy, you know? I, I see so much hate for her because she's so aggressive <laughs> towards the soul survivor, but I don't blame her, you know? Anger is a defense mechanism, and she is right in the middle of it. Okay, that's her. I don't know where John is, uh, but we do need him to take over some of this. Let's do a water pump. I am so glad. So I was complaining in previous videos, like why can't I push it right up against something? And somebody pointed out that the pump part is in the back. So somebody needs to be able to get behind it to pump with it, which totally makes sense. So glad somebody called that out. Um, Cause it would be so unrealistic if it was backed up right against something and you couldn't, you couldn't use it. All right, we gotta find, where was he? He was in somebody else's house earlier. Preston, you're not getting assigned to anything. Let's check if Sturgis is asleep. No, where is everybody? Are you going to farm right now? It's like the middle of the night, babe. These people. All right, he's not in his bed. What was that? Oh God, Preston. <laughs> that was like cryptid level creepy running in the dark behind the houses. Spooked me. Ah, Mama, Mama Murphy's cat is inside. With these rad roaches for some reason. Let's get rid of these. Oh, okay, well that worked. Is Mama Murphy in her bed? No. Where's Mama Murphy? Did I not decorate this room for Mama Murphy? Oops. We might have to fix that later. Just totally looked over that. Do we have the doctor in bed? What time is it that these people aren't in bed? It is 2.19 in the morning. Where is everybody? It's not like I have a bar yet for them to congregate around. This is a problem with the settlement this big. Sturgis wasn't in bed. Mama Murphy wasn't in bed. Nobody should be in the warehouse because there's nothing in there for them. I just need Jun. I just need Jun so I can assign him to farming so happiness doesn't plummet. That's our only goal right now. Tell me at least one person is asleep in the right bed. No! What is happening? Where is everybody? Did they forget where they were supposed to be? Yep. What are you doing in the guardhouse? 
house. I know Sturges knows he's not assigned to this bed. Where's John? Y'all are crazy. And there's rad roaches everywhere. <laughs> this is such a chaotic, chaotic note to end this video on. What are you going to do? That's showbiz, baby. We finally found him. I'm going to blame grief. I'm going to say this isn't a bug. This is a feature, not a bug. And Jun uh, has just been really distracted by his grief, and that's why. And not because Fallout is just buggy as hell. Oh my gosh. I want... Um, our farmers, I feel like, deserve a little seating area. Just to, just to sit and take a breather every now and then, you know what I mean? That feels outdoorsy enough. I just, I want some lighting out here. Oh, actually, I don't need a table and lamp because I can just do a fire barrel. Yeah. That's nice. A little workspace for them. And then... I think that we would cap at 12 people. So I don't think we need to do another farm area. Um, but I think... Uh, another fenced in area at least for the brahmin would be really nice I don't think I'm going to do that whole thing right now because we're pretty much out of time but at least to remind myself again not a bathtub I keep going in the bathtub but at least to remind myself of that plan I will do a Brahmin feed trial down here, which makes sense too, because as traders come in, like this would be the entrance to the settlement. They would pass by the guard houses. They could put their pack Brahmin in this area, which is, we can do a fence here. Uh, they would put their pack Brahmin in there. Ooh, another picket fence to scrap. Um, and then they would be able to leave their pack Brahmin there and come to the general trader house, congregate there. Uh, so that's all good kind of central areas for things. Okay, we got our food done, we got Codsworth's house done, we got the warehouse done, we got Sturge's house done. So we did make progress today, even if it's, we got kind of chaotic there <laughs> in the end. And we still have a few houses to go. Sanctuary really is all over the place. But let's, uh, let's sleep it off so we can just get one peek at this place in the daylight. We will use Sturge's bed. Because he's not using it for some reason. Ah, oh, Sturges. Buddy, buddy. Maybe that synth chip is malfunctioning in his brain. I said it. Yeah, let's check out that warehouse one more time in the daylight. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Well, I think that about does it for us today. Thank you so much for sticking with me through that, uh, through here to the end. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I think this was, so this was part two. Uh, we're definitely going to have to do a part three uh, for the armor house, the weapons house, and a diner. Uh, but we will get there. I want to do sanctuary right. Thank you so much for sticking around. This is where we're at now. We have seven people. So we got one more in this video, which is a big win. We are all set on food and water, power, defense, beds, happiness. Things are looking good. Uh, I will see you again next week. I do have a playlist of all the builds I've done so far. If you're interested, please subscribe, follow along, leave me a comment. I appreciate you guys so much. I have so much fun doing these. I will see you next week.
And thank you, as always, for joining me, the General of the Minutemen, as we work together to make the Commonwealth safer, one settlement at a time. I'll see you next week.